Hey, I get this question a lot. Partnerships. Should I do one? Should I not do one? I'm looking at scale my business. How can we consume or use each other's resources to be able to help each other? Look, let me just give you some idea. When I just got into real estate, I wanted nothing to do with a partner because all I've heard about when it comes to business and partners is that they always go bad and difference of opinion and then you got to liquidate and it always becomes a mess because you get the lawyers involved. But I've warmed up to the idea over the years and I actually truly believe in partnerships. There's one saying that I use all the time. All right. That saying is the rising tide floats all boats. And that really comes into you can't go anywhere without partners or people in your corner that want you to succeed. Now you can help them succeed. The more people you have in your boat rowing the same way, the more the quicker you'll get there. So ultimately, you should embrace partnerships to succeed, especially in real estate. Now, let's talk about partnerships and how to actually do them. So there's definitely pros and cons. All right. The one thing that I have realized is that when you're choosing a partner, the one scenario that I tend to see that never works is a friend, you know, maybe your best friend, uh, a good friend that you grew up with. It never tends to work where a friend becomes a business partner. Okay. That relationship always tends to go down south at some point. Your, your, your goals, what you're trying to do in life, always tend to veer from one another. All right. Now, the one thing that I have realized that works out very well is if you can find a business partner that can complement what you do, Meaning, if you're, if you're in real estate, I'm personally really good at the administrative side, the finances, the managing the property. I'm really good at that, but I hate the maintenance. I hate uh, working with all the technicians. I hate following up on that. I hate going out after hours to fix all that. So I wanted to find a partner that loved that, hated the finances. So we both had our things that we were great at. And come to find out through connections that we made networking over the years, we got connected from one of our brokers that we mutually used. He liked one thing, he li I liked the other. And then we started doing business together. So I want you to find a business partner that complements your services. Use your network, go find people, ask, hey, do you know anyone that may complement this or that may be interested in partnering with me? It's a great way to find a partner that way. Now, there's a lot of things that go with a partnership and you gotta be ready to actually be over communicative with a partner because probably a couple of years ago, I probably wasn't mature enough to be a great partner because you have to over communicate and you have to be transparent with everything that you do. So I really want to challenge you and make you think of, are you willing to put in the work? Because partnerships are a lot of work. All right. So the pros, all right, you can combine resources. All right, that's great, right? You have 20,000, they have 20,000. You put our money together, now we have 40,000 buying power. That's huge. They have connections, you have connections. That could be really beneficial, all right? So there's resources that you can now combine. You have more buying power, all right? But now you gotta make sure that the goals are aligned, all right? And this could be a pro. If your goals are aligned, oh, it is a sweet thing when you guys are both on the same page. Okay. Now the cons, right? So these are pros over here. The cons over here. All right. You got a, you know, difference of opinion. Just to name one. Okay. Uh, you have to be willing to work with them. Okay. So you can't always get your way. So you have to be able to meet in the middle. Are you willing to compromise? Do you want to compromise? Okay. So these are all, all some of the questions. Now in real estate university, I actually go into deep detail about partnerships, all the pros and cons that I've found, uh, all the benefits that have come along with it. But most importantly, how do you actually protect yourself and protect your partners that if something changes, if you guys have a difference of opinion, if something happens in the family where you guys need to part ways, how do you protect both yourself and your partner without actually uh, inhibiting the growth of the rest of the business? All right. So there's definitely a lot of ways, especially in real estate, which is great that you can actually bring on partners, 
but reduce that risk or have it segmented into certain areas where you're actually not taking on a massive risk. All right, the last thing you wanna do is get in a partner where you start getting, you know, millions and millions of dollars of real estate and then all of a sudden you guys are going to have a difference of opinion all right so it's important that you actually in real estate that you're reducing your risk and you're segmenting your partners that you guys are on the same page so if something goes bad something unexpected happens that you guys can actually walk away from both sides peacefully without ruining both each other's lives but also the business that you're working so hard to generate so partnerships are great. Just make sure that you understand the pros and cons and understand how to protect yourself. <music>